I'm going to open up the, the arc lamp, but actually take it off until I put the visor back on. Here we go. So you have to obviously unscrew for safety. These are really tightly screwed up in case the lamp does explode. We can't have any glass flying out anywhere. So right, what I'm going to do now is put my visor on. And standing aside and if you want to have a look inside see what the lamp looks like and no we, we won't strike it off while we're they got the cover off okay I've now just unloosened the screw so it's now just finger tight and open this connect the cable What I'm going to do now is not lose this nut and now I'm going to physically unscrew the Zenon. So if you want to come down here you probably can see me doing this. I, I might say the cameraman is equally protected with his uh, visor and his protection garment. So we're doing this very very sensibly but as you can see all we're doing is just unscrewing Send a lamp in this particular lamp house, making sure nothing is getting caught as it is there. Now we're all playing that game now. It keeps wants to get back on, so here we go. screwing the new lamp back into the lamp house. Just finger tight and then we put this nut back on. And, and then it's all done basically. So Ray, that's two more Zen lamps changed. Now because we tend to use a lot of digital these days, these lamp powers is probably will not need another lamp for two or three years because basically most of our screens are 35, 35 mil or on digital. So that's it. <laughs> 